And Liz Perch goes away, still with a cheque for £1,000, which will mean a lot to her, and she's probably now um, avoiding France in her plans for her travels around the world. Now then, here we go again. Time for our eight remaining contestants. They're still here, playing fastest finger first. Let's have the next question. Put these TV sketch shows in the order they were first shown. The Fast Show, The Frost Report, Naked Video, not the 9 o'clock news. Right, we have eight contestants left. Let's see the right order then first, then find out how many got it right. This is the right order. Farthest back, uh, David Frost of The Frost Report. 1966, that was first screen. Not the 9 o'clock news. Uh, not the 9 o'clock news, 1979. Naked Video in 86. And the most recent, Paul Whitehouse and Co. in The Fast Show, 1994. That's the right order. Now, eight left. How many got it right? These were correct. Only two. Who was fastest? Duncan Circuit in 5.62 seconds. Well played, Duncan. <laughs> So you got here. Thank you. Oh, yes, please. So here in the hot seat, we have Duncan Circuit, an operations manager from Hartford Heath in Hertfordshire. Up in the audience is wife Belinda, back at home being babysat by Grandma Pat and Grandpa Ian. Are the kids, don't they look nice? Uh, Caitlin, who's five, and Ella, who's three. OK, 15 questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. Duncan, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, uh, question number one then for 100 pounds, here it comes. What restraints do policemen traditionally place on prisoners' wrists? Handbrakes, and books, and cuffs, and kerchiefs. It's handcuffs. It's handcuffs. You got one hundred pounds. It's question number two. Which of these is the title of an infamous horror film of the nineteen seventies? Mary Poppins, <laughs> The Sound of Music, Annie, The Exorcist. It's The Exorcist. Not The Sound of Music? No, The Exorcist. It's scary in its way. You got £200, the right answer. <laughs> OK, question number three. What name is given to arid land covered with stunted trees and bushes? Cleanse, scour, scrub, wipe. That's uh, scrub, Chris. Right answer, three hundred pounds. <laughs> you right so far? Yes, fine. Thanks. Worried about your fear of heights and that, that chair. <laughs> um, question number four is for five hundred quid. Have a look. Take your time. Here it is. Who was the last wife of Henry VIII? Catherine Bogey. Catherine Birdie, Catherine Eagle, Catherine Parr. That's Catherine Parr. That's the right answer, you've got 500 quid. <laughs> Catherine Bogey. Right, you've got 500 pounds. Last point, Duncan, you can go home with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look. This will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. What term is used to describe a group within a country which is secretly aiding the enemy? Third column, fourth column, fifth column, sixth column. I think I'll ask the audience on this one, please. OK. All in your keypads, please, audience. Let's get Duncan up to £1,000 guaranteed. That's what lifelines are for. Let's get him there. It's worth £1,000. A, B, C or D. All vote now. That's what I was thinking, anyway. You little liar, Duncan. <laughs> you little liar, pants on fire, Duncan. I'm going to go with the audience. Final answer? Fifth column, final answer. It's the right answer, you got £1,000. <laughs> Whoa, thank you for that. <laughs> Duncan Circuit. 
from Hartford Heath in Hertfordshire is on a guaranteed £1,000. Uh, you have your 50 50 and you have your phone a friend. Feel alright? Yeah, not too bad at the moment. Calm? Calmer than I was before. Were you nervous sitting there? Were you... Very nervous. OK, well now look, you've got £1,000. That's obviously the first big milestone. You might as well play this one anyway. This is question number six. It's worth £2,000. What is the name of the parish beadle in Dickens' Oliver Twist? The parish beadle in Dickens' Oliver Twist. Mr Bumble. Mr Crumble. Mr Humble. Mr Jumble. It's Mr Bumble. Final answer. Final answer. You ever read it? Long, long time ago. Long time ago. Going to read it again? If the answer's right. <laughs> it is right. You've got to read it again now. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Oliver Twist has asked them all, said Mr Bumble. <laughs> OK, uh, you're four away from 32,000. You're nine away from one million. Question number seven is for 4,000 pounds. Have a look. Off which Australian mainland coast does the island of Tasmania lie? North, south, east, west. It's south. Been there? No. Blew into hats then. She's not in the chair and you are. Sure? South. Final, Final answer. answer. Right answer, you've got £4,000. <laughs> Beautiful part of Australia and the capital is Hobart. You've got 4000 you've got 50 50 and phone a friend still there. You're three away from 32000 Money going up a bit steeply now. Question number eight would double your money up to £8,000. Have a look at it. Who sang with Paul McCartney on the 1983 UK Top Ten single... Say, say, say. Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Mick Jagger. You up on your pop? I thought I was. I think I know two, it definitely isn't. You really want three, it definitely isn't. <laughs> Which two definitely isn't? David Bowie and Mick Jagger. Say, 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 Stevie Wonder or Michael Jackson? I'll take 50-50. OK, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Duncan the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Stevie Wonder did um, Ebony and, and Ivory, Ivory, didn't he? Yes. You got eight thousand uh, pounds. Question number nine is for sixteen thousand. You still got that phone, a friend. You're two away from the next big milestone of thirty-two thousand pounds. Have a look. This is question number nine of a possible fifteen. Which cartoonist created St Trinian's anarchic school for girls? Gerald Scarfe, Ronald Searle, Charles Schultz, Ralph Steadman. Which cartoonist created St Trinian's Anarchic School for Girls? Gerald Scarf, Ronald Searle, Charles Schultz, Ralph Stedman. It's worth 16,000. What are you thinking? Again, I know, too, that it isn't. Is it not? It's not Charles Schultz or Ralph Stedman. Why not? I'm just sure it's not. You reckon it's not Schultz or it's not Stedman? 
Charles Schultz was Peanuts. That's not the uh, not the same guy. That did uh, St. Trillions. Ralph Steadman. No. I'm sure he isn't. Gerald Scarf. Possibly. I'll play Ronald Sell. Final answer. Why did you suddenly go for that? It just rang a bell somewhere. Do you think it's right? I'm hoping it's right. It is right. You just won £16,000. <laughs> Whoa! It gets nasty about now. <laughs> you look like you've been hit with a truck. <laughs> You're right. I'm oh, fine. You've got 16000 now. Serious business. Uh, big drop here if you give me a wrong answer. A lot of people go away having lost £15,000, but a lot of people go away having got the next one right and guaranteeing themselves a cheque for £32,000. That would be the least amount of money you take home this Sunday night. Have a look at question number 10. It's worth a guaranteed £32,000. Who was voted FIFA World Footballer of the Year in December 2001? Luis Figo, Rivaldo, Raul, Zinedine Zidane. It's Luis Figo. Oh, take your time. <laughs> sure, not Zidane. Not Zidane. No, I meant he was standing next to Beckham. Final answer. Final answer. So how did Beckham do? Hey, you got some other prize, the second prize. I can't remember. It's the right answer. You're absolutely right. You just won £32,000. What a play. <laughs> well, that's the kids sorted. That's, um, that's Belinda's hang gliding sorted. <laughs> and that's, the, uh, that's the Ruby wedding celebration. Uh, £32,000. Want to take it? I'd love to take it. It's got your name on. You might as well. It's yours. <laughs>